Capricorn, welcome to your intimate tarot read. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. If this is not of interest to you, your career tarot is out today as well. What's going on? Somebody need to see, please, for Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn? If you're new to my channel, welcome. Yeah. I read sexual energy. <laughs> sexual energy is just but one more method to look at our love life, to be honest. They're just a different version of general love readings. Sometimes shorter, not always. Sometimes they actually do go 30 minutes. And that's because, yeah, absolutely. It, it was all about the love life and commitment. So that's why we're here. You know, it's another reason to look at relationships, where they're going and why. That's what sexual energy is about, you know. It's helpful. It's helpful, you know. Now, if you watch tarot videos in the general sense, two rules. Doesn't matter if it's me or someone else. It doesn't matter. There are two basic rules. Take what resonates, leave it does not. Reverse energies as it applies. That's it. All right. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Capricorn energy. What's going? I don't want to see that. No stubbornness. No going after someone we know we can't have. I don't want to see that. I want to see something magical and new and uplifting for Capricorn. <laughs> Come on. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on for Capricorn, please? What's going on? This is, of course, the Tarot of Sexual Magic, respectively. What's up? We're trying to manifest a difficult conversation, possibly. What's going on? What's going on? Mm. What's going on? You better not ring my doorbell. You better not ring my doorbell. <laughs> I'm kind of undergoing massive changes right now, and so it's kind of like get over it because I got deliveries coming. I'm overhauling anyway. I'll announce it later on my community page, so keep your eye out for that. But I'm like, I'm recording. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> All right, what's the current situation for Capricorn, please? Some of that sexual energy, please, for Capricorn. Some of that sexual energy, please, for Capricorn. What's currently going on? Okay, well, I'll tell you this. At least it's done. <laughs> Instead of lingering. I hate lingering shit. I do. So, if it's going to be done, let it be done. Five of Pentacles. All right, Taurian energy does not have to be. Just let it be done. Five of Pentacles. You're not hearing the music with somebody anymore. All right, so if there's going to be abandonment, let it be done. Right? Don't hold on to shit that no longer serves you. Yes, move it forward. Uh, some of you feel just disconnected, possibly literally from a cancer. All right, physical energy specifically from a cancer. All right, if that's true, you let me know as you see fit. Uh, we're not hearing the music with this person anymore. There was a time when it was moving forward with that chariot energy, and it's it's blocked. At least the physical energy is at this time. Whether it's total separation, I don't know. But we're opening up with it. So that tells me there's an acceptance here, or it's already been done. Hopefully you're not holding on to their energy. But opening with the Five of Pentacles, it tells me you're aware that there is a disconnect here, possibly abandonment, something's done. Okay, we're not hearing the music with somebody anymore. All right? Is there mutual, please? We'll see if there's something new here. Is there any mutual energy, please, between Cap... Okay. Yeah? No, it's an agreement between you two. I'm seeing a clear ending. But the fool's also here. We're starting a new chapter. Okay? Good. I hope I'm seeing the acceptance. Because guess what? Look who's walking away from the Ten of Swords. All right? It's the both of you. It's under the mutual. So this was a mutual agreement. I'm seeing a breakup, separation, possibly. Okay? Mutually agreed to move forward. So again, the acceptance. This is good. I'd rather see this than somebody holding on, waiting for someone else to come around. I hate that shit. I see it everywhere from all signs all the time. So this is hard, but at least you're moving the fuck forward. Okay? It's here. Correct. All right. Death is underlying that. Okay. Let me know if you separated from Scorpio or if you have Scorpio in your chart. Pay attention. Or just simply, this is confirmation of disconnection, abandonment, ending. Okay. We got it. Strengths, please. Show me Capricorn strengths, please. Show me Capricorn strengths, please. Show me Capricorn strengths, please. Show me. 
Seven of Cups. They're open to love. Fucking fabulous. Fabulous. Do you have any idea how much energy I see for you? Where you know where you want and you won't go after it. Or you won't go after the situation or the circumstance or the person. Because like I insist this is a situation I need to be in. I insist this is my person when it's not. So good for fucking you. You're keeping your cups open. The Seven of Cups. Also the card of deep kissing. Some of y'all just can't wait to get your kiss on. Seriously. We are taking off in new adventures. New chapters. We're starting... It could be you pick up with somebody you left off. I don't know. That's also the implication in this one because of it. Can you see the turtle? I love the turtles. <laughs> this was a slow moving project, a slow moving thing. The Seven of Cups is like the equivalent of the Seven of Pentacles. It reached a certain point and then it stopped. So you might be picking up where you left off with someone else or you're just going to explore your fucking cups. I don't care. Let's just get out of this energy. I, Cappy, I am so happy for you. There was a struggle to say what we wanted to say. Somebody couldn't speak up. Somebody couldn't say what they needed to say. Okay. There was a fight. There was a struggle. There was a blockage. Blah. Okay. Weaknesses, issues, obstacles. Weaknesses, issues, obstacles. Weaknesses, issues, obstacles. What's going on? Weaknesses, issues, obstacles. Hello. Three of Pentacles. Da ha. Okay. Some of you are nervous about putting your fire back out there. I understand. We gotta start over again. Fuck. It's kind of exciting and it's kind of scary. All right. The Knight of Wands. <laughs> and this is what pisses me off. So many tarot readers say Knight of Wands is a fuck boy. It's a fuck girl. They're in and out energy. You don't understand tarot. Sorry. Knight of Wands is our inclination to get back out there and live life. It's the first sign that we're healing. You are, your weakness here is starting out again, putting your fire back out there. Okay. It's not easy. It's not easy. We're willing. And I know you're going to try. But that doesn't mean you're not fucking nervous. This is under your weakness. It tells me you're nervous. The three of pentacles. Making something work with somebody else. Okay. It could be a reapproach. Seven of cups is different. A little different. Could be a reapproach. Um, I don't know. But it could be starting over or starting over with someone else. Whatever. The point is, is moving your fucking energy forward you're nervous and that's normal look at this of course it's normal you're nervous putting your energy back out there that tells me you have someone specifically in mind because you manifest in show me the outcome please 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 <laughs> page of cups how do i say this Come on, man. That's not long. That, well, I don't always get long term. I get the short term too. Page of Cups. We're struggling to say what it is we want to say. How do I do this? The approach. How do I do this? 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 The approach to a pinnacles. How do I do this? I need strategy. How do I say what I need to say? So I'm seeing short term game here. Um, what does that mean? Well, I'm not seeing a long term outcome. There's six of wands behind that. Two of pinnacles. Relax. Uh, it's what does that mean? So short term, I'm seeing a Capricorn who is, the ending's been there, done that. You have your options open. You're going to pursue new options. Are you nervous? Yes, you are, because it involves three of pentacles. But there is still strength, and that's why I like it represented in this card. There's still strength behind it, because it's starting over from a solid place, okay? You're not going into this blind, all right? You know, you know how the foundations of things are meant to work, okay? So, how do I get the words out? That tells me you met somebody. How do I get the words out? How do I get the strategy? The Two of Pentacles is the harmonious balance, but also the strategy. How do I, uh, how do I get this started? You're going to put your communication out to somebody. I see you working up the nerve and or getting the communication just so. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Show me what I need to see, please. Uh-huh. I know. I see. Right there on the split. Okay. Some of you had to emotionally walk away from your old foundations. Was it solid? Yeah. Did you build the life together? You bet. Did you accumulate resources with your person? Mm-hmm. Was there love there? Not much. Okay. There you go. Okay. I'm seeing transitional energy for the earth signs right now. All right. No, I can't say that's a surprise. We're, yeah, we're headed straight for tourist season. So understanding what benefits us, resources, what have I gathered? And um, am I still invested in this beyond what's material? You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Your emotionality is very much tied to your sense of worldly goods and possessions. It's not an accusation. It just is what it is. 
every element operates as they operate, you know? Trust me, it ain't easy being a water slime, honey. We're invested in our emotions. Oh, fuck. Have fun untangling that. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? I'm excited for you. I know it looks scary, but honestly, I'm excited for you. Look at that. Exploring your cups, seven of cups to a new ten of pentacles, your new investment. Mm. What's going on? What's going on? You got a truth? Explore it. What's going on? Okay. I don't want to stay too much in the past, especially if this has already happened. Show me the five of pentacles, please. And this isn't even technically past. This is supposed to be current. Some of you, this is so fresh. It's still, it's still hitting you. You're still reeling from it, you know? Show me this five of pentacles, please. Show me this five of pentacles. It does look mutual. Firm and mutual. Yes. Show me that five of pentacles, please. Show me. Justice, let me know if you're dealing with Libra. You might have Libra in your chart. They might, somebody might have some Libra, but it's it's contractual. Okay, we have abandoned the contract, all right? The Empress, dual card of Taurus, Libra again. Kind of felt better, didn't it? In its own way. When we do the hard thing, sometimes we just get upped in our energy, even when it's painful, you know? When we honor our truths, our pathways, etc. We get an upgrade, but it comes at a price, and it's painful. But you know what? It's better sitting around thinking, hoping one day things will change. Show me uh, anything else, please. It was contractual. I know it was. It was Ten of Pentacles. I know. I know. We were probably feeling disconnected from our foundation, as it might have been solid as fuck. It might have been around for longer than ten years. So on and so forth. But that doesn't mean it was a happy marriage. You know? correct okay again let me know if you're done with Scorpio you might have Scorpio in your charts but that's just again the representation that this thing is over powerful as it was contractual as it was and it was contractual it didn't keep it from ending didn't it that's the difference between having our material needs met and our emotional needs met yeah okay you want to move your fire forward I feel like you came to this conclusion before your person did your energy's jumping. Your energy's jumping to get out of this Five of Cups. You, you just wants to get out. Okay. Mutually, you both agreed to start new chapters. Okay. Show me this Ten of Swords. I don't really think I need to. I kind of see everything I need to see here. Okay. See, yeah. Here, it did take a while. I'm seeing the reflection of Ten again with Seven plus Three. This did take a while. Somebody fended this off for as long as they could. Seven of Wands to the Three of Swords. We fended this off as long as we could. We, we, we fended this off as long as we could. We kept the heartbreak from happening, the ending, over this Ten of Swords ending, as long as we could. Okay? We tried. We tried to shore it up. We tried to shore it up. We tried to shore it up over and over again. We tried to shore it up, and we did. it still ended up the same way. So you can't say you didn't try. You can't say... You know, that you didn't try to make things fair and balanced and equal for someone that you know for a very long time. Okay? Show me the fool, please. You can't be said. It can't be said. I'm looking at it, Cappy. I'm looking at it. Show me the fool, please. Show me the fool, please. Eight of Cups, correct. It's not just about walking away. It's walking towards. You are both walking away. This is mutual. You're both walking away and walking towards. Something else, but not each other. Not anymore. Okay? New chapters for the both of you. Let's move on. Seven of Cups under strengths. I know. Somebody, see, I'm telling you, somebody was more forthright than the other. But again, it's like that mental head trapping. Did I do the right thing? Is it, Did I try everything? I know. I know. Show me the Seven of Cups, please, for the strengths. Show me the Seven of uh, Cups, please, for strengths here. The moon. Really, though confirmation of Pisces for some of you some of you literally have been slowly moving towards a Pisces that's for some of you and all of you you might have Pisces in your chart how so why is the moon here oh I just got nosy why is the moon here please why is the moon here please under strengths <laughs> show me the moon please have you considered your uh, balancing up six of Pentacles Queen of Wands, yeah. 
<laughs> the moon is under your strength. Did we take a little walk by the light of the moon, did we? You have to balance up with your moon energy. What did you discover? What did you discover, Capricorn? Seven of Cups. You know you have options in love. That's not the point. That's not the point. You know you have options in love. That's not the fucking point, Capricorn. What did you learn? You need to balance up with your moon energy. How so? Queen of Wands. What about it? What about it? A tower. Okay. You put this off for a long time, you know that. I see you coming to terms with it. You're admitting it to yourself. Not just this. Someone else. Someone for whom you have regret, remorse. Your energy is free now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Your energy is uh, a lot freer now. Now I can go after this person. Now I can go after this person. I've been wanting to balance up with them for a long time. Told you. Part of Seven of Cups. It's not just X. Please don't assume that. What I mean by slow going is that uh, there was a cup that was always on your radar, but you never got to explore it. Not really. Not in that way. Not in any way that it would satisfy you or make you happy. So you probably just left it alone. Right? Especially if you're in a commitment. So that makes sense. It was always under your moon energy, but now it's under your strength. So that means you're addressing it with that six of pentacles. You are showing it fair and balanced. You're going to you're gonna explore that fucking cup now. <laughs> it always caused you regret that you couldn't. It always caused you regret that you couldn't. It was this cup that you were always curious about, but you could never jump into. Hey, there's nothing stopping you now, honey. That knight of wands is here twice. And you know it. Ah! And you know it. All right, it's our... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I feel like you're getting ready for your first date. I do, if I'm being honest with you. I didn't want to say anything but until I got there. But I'm not going to lie. Given all your... Ah! Your energy is just so... I'm not going to say determined. It's realistic. You do have realistic energy here. Are you excited? Absolutely. Are you nervous? You bet. Are you realistic? Uh-huh. And I say that because you, you openly address your moon energy and balance up with this cup that you've always wanted to explore but never could. Okay. Um, you're trying to leave that behind you because you just you want to move towards it. I feel like, I swear to God, you're getting ready for a first date right fucking here. Which would explain why I'm not saying long term. It's short term. Like it's coming up. Oh, I hope you don't block it. Kathy, I hope you don't block it. Oh, goodness. Because, I'm sorry, honey, Earth signs, you're prone to doing that. You are prone to do that, but let's see. I'm not trying to put you down. I'm just saying Earth kind of tends to block what makes them nervous, you know, because it's nervousness, right? Okay. 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 That would explain it then. That would explain why you're so fucking nervous. Ah! Show me this Knight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Show me. Weaknesses. Is You gotta be firm. No pun intended. Ah! No! <laughs> Sorry. I can't help it. I can't. I'm still me. Okay? I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fly. The other guys. I love that movie. I've seen it so many times. It still makes me laugh. Okay. The Emperor. Let me know if you're dealing with Aries. The, especially when it shows. You have got to be firm about this. Get it under control. And you got it. You just pulled Big Daddy Energy. Queen of... Oh my God. That's the second time I've seen that. This is the person you're turned on by. This is the one that makes you nervous. This is the cup you didn't get to explore. For a variety of reasons. Likely because you were in a long-term commitment. So you just couldn't give it any kind of time, tension, or uh, consideration or anything like that. You, like, you wouldn't go near that fucking cup, right? But it always kind of made you sad that you couldn't. Oh! So you're getting ready for... So you did it, man. You fucking did it. Okay, you got it under control. You got it under control with that emperor energy. You're getting, in other words, you're actively, you understand you're nervous. You understand you're starting over. This is so exciting. Oh my God, show me this page of cups. How do I say it just so? How do I say it just so? Two of coin, getting ready, nervous, strategy, all that shit. Uh, show me that page of cups, two of coin. Page of cups, two of coin as the outcome, please. I just saw the queen of wands twice. This person is really, you just gonna happen it's gonna happen three of cups baby yes 
You're going out first date. Oh, Capricorn. Hell yeah. I love it. Three of cups. It's happening, Captain. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, you please just punch. Look at that on the fucking split. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, you is. Okay. I did see a reference to September for some of you. Um, I don't know when this is happening exactly because this, this took a while. But it's already so heavily past tense concepts. What the bigger part I'm taking away from this is that this is mutual. You have a stronger sense of self. You've addressed your moon energy. You know where you want your energy to go and why. Um, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. Congratulations to you. Uh, yeah, you're going on your first date with this person. This cup This cup that you have always been aware of. It's been under your moon energy. You want to balance up with it. Six of Pentacles specifically. Uh, there will be a line of communication at some point. It's looking like you're prompting it. Because you are pulling up Emperor with the Six of Pentacles. You're going to balance up with this per person in a way that's forward and directive and to the point um you're nervous you know so that's one of the reasons why you're pulling the emperors because you're nervous right so you're going to keep your lock your nerves in, under lock and key okay um but yeah it's like i see you getting honestly i just see you getting ready for a first date and you're happy you're so fucking happy three cups is happening is gonna happen with this cup that you never got to explore uh it feels like it was a fucking battle to get there <laughs> This is great. I'm loving it. Okay, I gotta wrap this up. This is great. Let me see if I can... Bleh. Look at that. Your moon oracle card. New moon in Capricorn. Yeah, your hard work is paying off. And how? Oh, well done. Well done. Work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio on the split. Excellent. 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 I do see heavy water energy. Uh, Pisces specifically, I saw a couple references to Scorps. I see a reference to Libra as well as Aries. Okay, what's going on? But I'm, this this emperor is more about you than them. Uh, let's see. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. New moon in Aquarius. When does that happen? New moon in Aquarius. Oh hell, I don't know. Okay, but there you are again, bringing love into the situation. You are. You are. You are bringing love into the situation by understanding what no longer serves you and walking away from it. Okay, what's going on? The end of a tough cycle, also your full moon. Your full moon and your new moon, both here. Your hard work is paying off. What's going on? Okay, we are in alignment. Yes, we are in alignment with ourselves. Excellent. What else would you tell Capricorn at this time, please? The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Who else got this? Was it Virgo? Believe in the impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You didn't think that was ever going to happen. It's happening. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. I know. You're working through them. Also, the answer to your question of, would you like to go out sometime? Yeah. That's going to happen. I don't know when this picks up, honey, but uh, it's going to. Let's see if we can do a time check. I feel like I... Oh, dear. Sorry about that it's my alarm it's time to go pick up my daughter from school okay let's do okay the, there you go the, that's it right there perfect full moon in Capricorn confirmation of you the end of a tough cycle approaches yes that's this right here okay let's do let's do a time check real quick let's do a time check real quick any idea uh, when does this happen when does the approach happen this is for some of you not all of you timelines are flexible and tarot the energy is vast don't take them as absolutes please when you're ready you're ready when it happens it's going to happen um, any, when does this happen it, any idea please any idea there you are king of pentacles 8 August September for some of you could literally be 8 weeks as well there's that 7 of cups again July. Can I get an idea, please? Is there any time when Capricorn comes forward? Do I have any time checks here, please, for when Capricorn comes forward to this other person? Show me when. Show me when. Show me when. Show me when. Okay. Yeah. This the stars, which is technically the marker of 17. 1 plus 7 reduces to 8. So again, for some of you, August. Um, but in terms of the stars, you... Well, high Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Mm, the timing's going to be right when it's correct. Your vision will come towards you when it's time. I don't know if it's a matter of divine guidance, but it's really just when this is done, when this cycle is closed, that's when you will move forward to this other person. That's really it. That's when you will know your vision, your long-term success. 
Okay, your hope and your wish. That's when you will know it is when this is complete, correct? So the sooner you get this done with the full energy, the, the sooner you can move on with this other person. Okay, all right. Take a chance on your own vision. Start your new chapter. The sooner you trigger that full energy, the sooner you can move to the other one. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. You got it. You got to keep plotting through this. I know. It's easier said than done. I understand. So you're going to go at your own particular pace. All right. This is not an overnight thing. Clearly. This kind of shit takes time. I know. All right. Capricorn. I hope this message finds you well. Take care. Be well.